Hi, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to give you an update on my bottle uh, hunt with my son. We um, we bored this big old hole into my backyard, and uh, well, his ambition is to build an underground water slide and pool that terminate under that garage back there. You know, I'm a supporting father, so uh, we'll see how far he gets. That hole is a little over three feet deep, and it's going. Well, that way, because uh, we followed a, a vein of cool old bottles. You can see some of the broken stuff we've been pulling up. Pulled up a lot of broken stuff over here. Little mason jar. Oh, and this cool little, uh, uh, it's the bottom half of a, I guess, porcelain doll head. Plates, bowls, hordes of teacups and saucers and unidentified oil things. Some bottles for measuring. I don't judge. This uh, this place was an old crack house. I've only had it for about six months and I'm doing the best I can. You develop a taste for crack after a while. Some of the other ones we've got uh, sitting around. Here's a few other things that we found excavating. I think these might be uh, rail, like ore car ties or something. Spike, there was a lot of granite history in this town. But the reason, the reason I'm making this video is to update my bottle count. Um, I've got a pretty good haul of actually legit intact bottles. See, there's an enormous amount of these ones here. The the no names, presumably they would have had a paper label. Uh, this little guy here is absolutely adorable. Possibly a perfume bottle. Oops. Let's not break them. We've got three um, of these which are Groves Tasteless Chill Tonic prepared by Paris Medicine Company of St. Louis, Missouri. Chill tonic for um, fever for children and tasteless of course so you know it was probably water. One in clear, one in blue. Got um, three Foley's Honey and Tar by Foley and Company out of Chicago, Illinois. Those are cool. I love the shape of those. Uh, I've got three uh, tall ones. I think one of these was a ketchup bottle. This little guy here, I thought he was an inkwell, but uh, read a little closer, and it is a Cheeseboro Manufacturing Company. It's a Vaseline bottle. It says right there on the bottom. Kind of cool. This little square one is lovely. The only one we've got of that. This little guy here is interesting. I've never, I've obviously, never heard of half of this stuff, but this one here is out of New York. New York. The people that really know how to make. It's called Mexican Mustang Liniment by what, Lion Manufacturing out of New York. So you want some Mexican Mustang Liniment? Here you go. Don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool. Got the, this is the scratch and dent aisle, but it's, you know, worth an honorable mention. This little guy here, this is by, um, it's embossed with S.A. Palmer, druggist from Santa Cruz, California. Kind of cool. Right here, beautiful bottle, but super fragile and broken. We exhumed it that way. Southern Pacific Company Hospital Department. And this is a fragment, again, a beautiful bottle, but this is all I have of it. Uh, presumably it said California Fig Syrup Company out of San Francisco. And then this beauty, the blue one, Wakeley's Cameline. I have no idea what this is, but it's a lovely little bottle. Now the crown jewel of the collection is right here. This bottle was only produced from 1895 to 1899, I believe. This was pulled out early on. My brother-in-law, Kyle, actually, 
pulled this one. Um, Phoenix Old Bourbon out of San Francisco. Apparently they still exist, but that is a very rare bottle, very cool. So, anyhow, that's the uh, collection so far. Obviously the tunnel and water slide are still under construction, so I imagine we'll be pulling up more. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.